Parshas Vayeshev, Bereshis Lametes, the Pasuk says, the Shmuz is adopted, adapted from the Shmuz of Amor and Hagoyin, Reb Chaim Shmulevich, Zechet Sadak Lebrocha, Vayhi Kishmoya Adoinov, Vayhi Vayhi Kedabra El Yosef Yoim Yoim, this Ashes Poitifar wanted to seduce Yosef at Tzadik to commit a sin. He didn't. He didn't listen. But one day, Pasuk says, Vayhi Kayoim Hazer. One day, Vayovei Abaiso Lasis Melachta. He came to do his work in the house. There was nobody else there. But to Lamer, she she grabbed him by his garment, saying, "Shechva imi, lie with me." Vayazayv bigday biyoda, he left his garment in her hand. Vayonas and he fled. Vayetze hachutza. And the Ramban, the Ramban asks a question. He says. Why didn't Yosef, why did he abandon his garment and let her have his garment? He abandoned it in her hand. Why didn't he um, grab it from her? Why didn't he take it away from her? He was stronger than her, and he could have grabbed the garment away to avoid any possible repercussions. As we all know, there were repercussions. She she made up a whole story. She had the garment, and she and he he had to suffer. He had to go to to, to prison for two years. Why didn't it was an obvious obvious? Um, uh, it was something very obvious that he could have avoided. He could have grabbed away the garment from her. That's the Ramban's question. And the, Ramban, and the Ramban answers an incredible thing. The Ramban answers to grab away the garment from his um, master's wife would not be covered. It not, would not be a covered for his gvirtoi, for his master's wife to take it away from her by force. Not only does one have to um, respect your master, his, uh, but also even his master's wife, there was due respect for her, and it wouldn't be respectful to do it. And the question is that he wants to be a, I mean, he, he was a Balmidais, Yosef HaTzadik, but even in such an instance where, obvious, where it was obvious that if he leaves the garment in her, in her hand, she could make all kinds of bilbulim, all kinds of alilot, um, um, uh, and she could, she could, she, and which would have, have tremendous repercussions for Yosef HaTzadik, which did happen. I mean, he was uh, able to figure that out. Anybody could figure that, figure that out. Why? Since he was able to take it from her, since he was so much stronger, um, why didn't he? And the Ramban says, because lekvayid gevirtoi, it would not be an honor for his for him to pull it away and grab it away from his uh, master's wife. And the question is, does, is one obligated to be a balmidais and to give covet and respect lekvirtoi to his master's wife, even in such a case where? where there might be tremendous repercussions, which there were. How far does one have to go to be a Balmidais? And apparently we see from here that no matter how difficult it is to not to offend somebody and to give somebody pr the proper respect, no matter how, how difficult it is and how much Yosef could be hurt 
by 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 leaving by by doing this, and nevertheless, he still has to be a Baal Midas. We have to strive to be a Baal Midas, even in the most dire and difficult situations. We should be zeche to this. Amen.